Hey, it's JJ Williams, uh, the forward for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. I played all of my youth soccer growing up at Vestavia Hill Soccer Club, where then I got a full ride to the University of Kentucky. I was drafted in the first round in 2019 to the Columbus Crew, and I played for a number of other teams until this point. What did your parents do or not do that helped you to get to where you are today? Uh, my parents always supported me and my decisions. Um, they taught me the importance of never giving up just because soccer is a lot of highs and lows and it's just about getting through those. If you could go back and change things, what would you have them do differently, if anything? I probably wouldn't have them change too much just because it kind of made me the person who I am today. What would you like to thank them for? Uh, I think I would like to thank my parents separately for their roles. My mom was very hard on me, a uh, big critic. Um, if I scored three goals, she was always looking for that fourth one. Um, for But for my dad, he was very, everything that I did was, you know, I was, this is the best thing that ever happened. And so I think that they balanced each other out very well. I think the biggest thing um, with my parents' relationship with me was that it was all out of love and honesty. Um, so no matter what happened, they always, gave me the best advice for the situation um, to make the most out of it. Any special club moment that stands out? Um, the special club moment that stands out to me was the, the Disney trips were always great just because it was, first of all, I'd never been to Disney before that, but we used to go play some of the best teams in the country. And that was where I got my first offer. And a bunch of kids, kids on our team got our first offers. And that was a really special moment because it kind of showed us that we could do it. It's, and it, it came a lot later than we thought was going to happen, but we never, we never thought that we were going to be able to do it, you know, get full rides or not even pro. Um, so that was a really special moment. And then also I traveled an hour and a half to train a couple of times a week. And I think that that was a very important, very important time just because it, it taught everybody in our carpool that you should really be appreciative of it and make the most out of your time on the field because you never know when it's going to end. Um, and my final piece of advice that I would give was, would be, you know, just for your kids is to um, make sure that everything that you do is the advice, the extra sessions, anything is just out of the love of the love of the game for the that the kids have not that you have i think that if i said that i wanted to stop my parents would say okay you know let, let me know why give me let me know it's a good reason whatever um but they always made sure it was my love of the game and not theirs so all the best to you thank you I'm a midfielder for Toronto FC. I actually grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, playing for various clubs uh, all the way until I was 16. Uh, then I was able to move to play for the FC Dallas Academy. Uh, I played for FC Dallas for two years in the academy and then I was able to go play at Wake Forest University. Uh, I played at Wake Forest for one semester and then I was um, blessed to receive a homegrown contract with FC Dallas. So I moved back to Dallas, um, played there for five years, and then I started my sixth year here in Toronto. I was also able to represent the United States men's national team. I have one appearance in 2020, so that's a, a blessing. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. My parents did so much to help me get to where I am today. Um, my mom, supported us so much just being there always being positive always cheering us on i think that was, that was huge for me not having to stress about whether i'm gonna come home even though i had a bad game just feeling loved no matter what was was huge for me my dad knew a little bit more about soccer so he was a little bit harder on me but he was able to coach me and, and help me with a little bit more of the technical and tactical things on the field so there was 
more drills after training or even in the backyard that definitely helped with my development. But also as I grew older, he wasn't my coach anymore, um, but he was still there giving me confidence. Uh, even when I'm moving up to a, a higher level, sometimes as a player, you, you, you're not sure if you're good enough, you know? And I think uh, my dad was a huge part in uh, giving me the confidence to, to tell me that you know, I'm good enough for this level, I'm good enough for this stage, and just to believe in myself and all the work that I put in and to just go out there and play. Uh, I think that was huge for me, uh, even when I didn't have that belief in myself, having my parents to, to kind of keep pushing me. Uh, I was asked if I could go back in time and change anything that they did differently, uh, what would I do? And honestly, I don't think I would change anything. Uh, I think I ended up in a pretty good spot and I know for a fact that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. I just want to thank my parents for all the sacrifices that they made. Um, looking back, I can <laughs> understand the, you know, the struggle of, you know, the money, the time, the travel, all of those things. Um, as a kid, you don't take that into perspective. You're just, you know, having fun with your friends. but. Looking back, I realized how much my parents really did put into, you know, allowing me to have the best environment possible, giving us the, the best coaches, the best facilities possible. Um, so I really appreciate that. I think an obvious uh, favorite club moment for me is, you know, winning State Cup. I think anytime you're able to lift some, some hardware, get a little trophy, it's an amazing feeling. Um, just being able to celebrate with your teammates and and the coaches, all the hard work that you put in. So it's a great feeling. I think looking back, another great memory I have is just being able to compete with international teams at some of those bigger showcases and tournaments. Just being able to compare yourself to other kids in, in different countries, uh, that was super interesting to me and, and just kept pushing me to get better and better. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all you parents and just let you guys know that all of your efforts are not going unnoticed. Even though everyone's soccer journeys are a little bit different, all of these skills and all of these memories are gonna keep living on uh, when they're done playing. Uh, and they'll be able to look back and, and thank you for everything that you've done. So thank you guys and just keep growing the game of soccer in Alabama. Soccer player, what my parents did, um, they were really good at encouraging me, but also giving me criticism at the same time. So, um, helping me realize that, you know, even though I may have played a good game, that there's also work to be done. And um, I think that was definitely something that turned me into the player that I am today was that uh, you know, they kind of just always kept it real with me and told me that not everything was perfect. So, every game, every training is always a good, uh, a good way to improve. My parents never forced me to play soccer. It was something that I always kind of decided to do on my own. And um, I think them not putting pressure on me to always play definitely kind of uh, kept me loving the game. I personally wouldn't change anything um, about how my parents interacted with me as an athlete growing up. I think in the, in the moment sometimes it felt a bit harsh or it felt a bit... Um, overwhelming but then in retrospect it definitely paid out in the long run and um yeah it was it was a bit tough for me to understand when i was younger but um you know i think i needed that type of pushing and encouragement um i want to thank my parents for always you know finding the time finding the resources to allow me to to play and uh, it's not the easiest thing uh also having two other siblings is not always the easiest thing uh being able to take me to training or being able to pay for everything, but they always found a way somehow. What mama stood out to me, I think State Cup were always, that was always nice. Regionals, I think was for me the best part of my uh, growing up and playing for Hoover Soccer Club. I think, you know, going on the way trip with your boys and uh, playing against the other good, great teams in the Southeast, uh, it was definitely, those are definitely probably my favorite moments of playing in Alabama. Rita, up into the edge of the six! And it's Chris Richards with the opener! He's been beaming with confidence! And it's dripping out of him now! His first international goal!
and the U.S. has the lead in the final. We take it back to 2021. We saw the importance of set pieces for this U.S. team in the final. This time it's Chris Richards just does so well to create a little bit of separation to get the elevation and then the timing just spot on. Just a little clip ball in there by Gio Reyna. The congestions of bodies and it's Chris Richards who rises high, gets enough power on it, heads it back down into the ground, making it hard for the big frame of Milan Borjan to get down quick enough. The U.S. find themselves in dreamland up here in the 12th minute. And as you said, it's his first.